Mexico is not the only country to have been hit by a powerful earthquake in recent days. Places dotted around the so-called Pacific Ring of Fire have been rocked by a series of strong quakes in recent days. Fortunately, none as deadly as the one uh, in Mexico. For more about the sharp uptick in seismic activity around the ring, here's Park Ji Won. In recent days, a series of powerful earthquakes have hit countries situated along the so-called Ring of Fire, regions surrounding the Pacific Ocean that are prone to quakes and volcanic eruptions. In Taiwan, a magnitude 5.7 earthquake struck the east of the island nation late Wednesday. Although no casualties or damages have reported, the country's Central Weather Bureau said aftershocks of intensity 4 and 5 magnitude were detected. In Japan, a 6.1 magnitude earthquake struck off the east coast of the country. According to the U.S. Geological Survey's website, the quake hit before the crack of dawn on Thursday, some 320 kilometers east of Fukushima, where a massive earthquake and tsunami led to the Fukushima nuclear disaster in 2011. New Zealand, another country in the Ring of Fire, was hit by a 6.1 magnitude undersea quake on Wednesday afternoon, rattling the southwest of the country. A magnitude 6.4 quake struck Vanuatu's fourth largest island, Aromango, in the Pacific Ocean on Thursday. It struck the center of the island at around 7 in the morning. The so-called Ring of Fire stretches over some 40,000 kilometers along the boundaries of the Pacific Plate and the smaller plates that line the edges of the Pacific Ocean. Earthquakes happen as the plates grind up against each other and produce friction. Park Ji-won, Arirang News.